Father, we honor you. Thank you for your who you are. Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Woo! We bless you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Let everybody say amen. Amen. Let's be seated. Open the place. I want you to pay attention like you have never done before. It's very important. No distraction. No running around. Don't miss anything. Don't miss anything. It's very important that you listen carefully. Say amen. Amen. Come and say amen. 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 Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, while the worship, some uh, worship was going on, God changed my message. Come on now. Hallelujah. So I think I'm always uh, flexible in the hands of God. Say amen. Amen. Uh, before we're just going to make mention of next month being the month of divine direction, but actually God, what, right? During the worship time, five minutes ago, God actually wants me to teach on the importance of what is coming next month. Amen. Say amen. amen. So if there is any time you ever want to listen to anything, the time is now. It's very important, very critical that you listen, take good note, listen, uh, get a CD or put your phone on to make sure you don't miss anything. Say anything. I'm very serious, very important. The God team and mercy that I prepare really I'm excited about uh, is important. Say amen. The Bible said the preparation of the heart is what? Man's own word, responsibility. But the answer of the tongue is the Lord's. Come and say hallelujah. So I'm, I'm responsible to prepare. But the final decision is in God's hands. So I prepared and uh, you know, God is, you know, whatever I wants to do, I'm excited. You know, you guys look awesome, beautiful, fired up, energized, amen. Yes. It's always nice to say that, you got amen, glory to God. You know, guys, I just love you guys. I love you, too. Uh, you. It's just awesome. I, you know, anyway. Um, we, in abiding world family Christians, and in this ministry, um, God said the month of April is the month of what? Divine direction. Say amen. amen. So, uh, I want you to write these dates down on April 13. April 13. <coughs> April 13 is Wednesday. So we go to have service on April 13, our regular Bible story. We go to have service on April 14, April 15, April 16, and April 17. Okay? April, uh, so we only have the extra three days, Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. Say amen. amen. Come and say amen. amen. And then Sunday service on April 17. Hallelujah. Amen. Why are we doing that? The reason why we're doing that is because God said April is the month of divine direction. Come and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ask my body to spend both corporate and private time with me. Come to me with unprecedented expectation for download of divine direction. And this was given to me on, on March 16, 2020 at 9 a.m. in the morning. Amen. Amen. So, one thing, uh, you know, we're raising up uh, people to learn to hear from God, uh, not just to be uh, a prophet, but a prophet of your own life. Yeah. Yes, but the most important thing is to be able to hear from your daddy. Amen. Amen. And uh, one of the reasons or ways you know that you heard from God, you know, I've heard a lot of people, how do you know that it's not my mind? Come on. How do you know what God said is not me? Say, man, how do you know that? How do you, what, whatever God says to you must line up with the word of God. God will never speak contrary to his word. Come and say, hallelujah. hallelujah. And there's nothing wrong in looking for confirmation. The Bible says from the mouth of two or three, the truth shall be what? Established. So there's nothing wrong for you to look for confirmation. Uh, even when God speaks to you, say hallelujah. Okay. Or even when you receive the prophetic word, that's not wrong with confirmation. Because right. right. let me tell you, anybody can miss it. Yeah. Especially oh. when it comes to the uh, uh, prophets of divine direction. 
You don't, you don't want to make decision, a life-changing decision because somebody said it and there's no, there's no confirmation. So there's nothing wrong when you receive a prophetic word that your God and he confirmed this with me or with somebody else. There's nothing wrong with that. Or even when you yourself hear something. Come and say hallelujah. I remember when Pastor Isaac came here, I was uh, prophesying to him over there, and he said that was a confirmation. He said, God spoke to me about two years ago about that. Come and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Now he can boldly, say boldly, boldly, step out. If he didn't have enough faith to step out before, he can now boldly step out on that assignment. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Remember, I said when God spoke to us, it's not that uh, one of the reasons why God gave us prophetic work, especially uh, confirmatory prophetic word is not, uh, it could be that we are lacking or slack, uh, lacking or uh, dragging our feet in moving on the divine assignment. So when God sends somebody else to confirm the word, is to build our faith in moving forward in what God said to us that we already know. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say glory be to God. Glory Come to on, God. say hallelujah. hallelujah. While the worship was going on, God said to me, He said, Son, what does the word number four mean in my word? I had to go search for it. Uh -huh. I need to be honest with you. Say amen. amen. So God took me to the book of Genesis, chapter one. So let's open our Bible to the book of Genesis, chapter one. We go to verse 14. Remember, when God speaks to you, there must be a word. Confirmation. You know, the word must confirm the word. So, hallelujah. hallelujah. This is the second confirmation that God gave me concerning the, uh, the month of April. The first thing that happened was when God spoke to me, about 45 minutes later, I received a uh, daily message from Kenneth Copeland. And in that message, the prophetic word for 2022 that God gave me was in that message. And the, one of the mess, uh, the, one of the words that God gave Kenneth Copeland for 2022 is that it's good, not 2022 is going to be the year of, the, of direction, both for the church and for individual family. Mm -hmm. Come and say hallelujah. hallelujah. That's 45 minutes that God spoke to me. That was what? The confirmation. And this is the second confirmation that God spoke to me when the service was going on. Say amen. So let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. And God said, see God said, let there be what? Light in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night. What does light do? It gives you direction, visibility. Come on, say hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. I mean, when you enter into a room and it's dark, what do you do? If the light, if there's no light, what do you do? You stumble. You fall over stuff. I mean, if you have ever walked into a dark room and you, 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 you hurt your toe, say, man, yeah, come on, yeah. say hallelujah, say hallelujah. You know, my wife was in the, in a, you know, we have our walk-in closet, and so she was in, in the closet, you know, with the mirror. She was doing stuff, you know, and I went in, and I came out, and I turned the light off. Because I'm used to, I forgot that she was there. She's done it to me several times. So, it's so you know, you can be in the bathroom with somebody, you just walk and just turn the light yes, off because yes, you think you're the only one in there. I'm the only one. No, no. Say, so, are you one? I said, oh, I'm sorry. You know, so I forgot that she was there doing stuff, you know, so I had to turn the light back off. So, when you enter into a dark place, yeah. you need light to see. Yeah. Come on, say, hallelujah. hallelujah. Where's Pastor Joshua? Yeah, I don't want to, I don't mind the boy making noise. I want him to see that it's very important. Say, so, Mary. And I, 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 I'm not just taking the word of God lightly. I mean, before why this, this morning, you know, we went drive, drive around to look for some Lord to build church. Say, so, man, God is the month, the month of that divine direction. It's starting on Friday. Amen. Amen. So I'm not just telling you. I'm not letting make noise. I don't mind. So I want both of you to sit down so you can hear. I want that to out. So I'm not just expecting you to seek the man of God. I am doing the same thing for me individually and for the church. So he said we should spend what quality time with him corporately and individually. Say amen. amen. So God said, let there be what light in the expanse of heaven to do what separate the day from the night. Night. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. And let them be what for signs, for seasons, and for days. And for years, divine direction. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Verse 15, come on. And let them be lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light upon the earth. 
and it was so. You know, one of the things that's going to happen when the last day comes is that the star in heaven will fall. Yeah. The sun will stop shining mm -hmm. and the moon will stop shining. It's going to be dark. Yeah, it's going to be dark. Rose dark. man. So, one of the typology of that is that it's going to be dark physically and also people will lose restraint. It's going to be dark. When God said darkness will fill the earth, it doesn't mean that to whom that we still going to be sun or light, that people will not know what to do anymore. The advice of the expert will fail. Yes. What you think to, that you knew will not work anymore. The government will not work. The system will not work. The economy will not work. So it's going to take people. Then the boy is excited. Say hallelujah. Amen. Say hallelujah. Amen. I think he should have preached his first message at the age of one year old or something. <laughs> say hallelujah. Like, Come on, say, I'm talking, I'm talking to somebody. Yes. So the gross darkness will free the earth. And the Bible said light will shine in the church. Mm. Ah. Come on. So the world will lose restraint. They will not know what to do, what decision to make, which way to go, what works. But in the church, say hallelujah, they will be coming to run into church for direction. And people who are in the church who are not listening will go to other believers for direction. <laughs> Whoever knows the direction will rule. Hello, Joseph. Mm, yeah. Come and say hallelujah. Yeah. There was darkness in Egypt. They didn't know what to do. That's right. That's right. So Joseph said, Same. choose a wise person among you yeah. that is going to lead you, help you in the day of oh. darkness. And Pharaoh said, who, who, who better can do it than you? Mm. Come and say hallelujah. Oh, yeah. And it, from prison to ruling. Yeah. And that day is coming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah. I said the day is coming. Yeah. So you need to know what to do. Wisdom is the ability to use knowledge. You can acquire all the wisdom, I mean all the knowledge, uh, knowledge in the world. If you don't know what to do with it, you are useless. You will be like someone who doesn't have anything. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. I hope I'm talking to somebody. Yes, so let them be what? Light in the expanse of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on. And God made two what? great lights. Yes. The greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. And God sent them in the expanse of the heaven to give light on the earth. To rule over the day and over the night. Come on, let's read together. And to separate the light from the darkness. You see that? Yes. Come on, to separate what? The light from what? Darkness. So people are going to be walking in darkness, and some people are going to be walking in light. Some people are going to be walking in confusion, while some people are walking in the divine direction of God. Even contrary to popular opinion. Come on. Contrary to God, to the government, to the economists, yeah. come on, to your bank, to your to, to the government direction. Mm -hmm. This is the way we need to go. I know we said no. This is the way I want yeah. you to go. <laughs> come on, say hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. hallelujah. And at the, at, at the end of the day, they will wish they did what you did. Oh, okay. yes. And they've been asking, how do you know that? Mm -hmm. I have inside information. Yeah. Yes. Come on, the Holy Spirit. Ah. It will teach you mm. all oh. things. Oh. Come on. He said, I will not leave you what? Comfortless. Oh, I will send, it will what? Lead you, direct you, instruct you. Into all truth. Um, into all truth. Into all truth. And the word truth there actually is supposed to be translated reality. Mm -hmm. yes, it will sir. lead you into all reality. Oh, yeah. It was strongly translated the word truth, which is really good. But the word truth there is, when Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. He said, I'm the way, the reality, and yeah. the life. That's what he said, the original translation. Yeah. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. So it's going to lead you to the real life. To, re, to the real prosperity. Life that endures. Prosperity that nothing, no recession can touch. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Yes. This is the best time to be a born again Holy yes, Ghost Lord. Christian. Yes, Lord. That's, that's right. The church is entering their, their group, brightest hour. Yes. Oh, come on, come on. I told you she'd be excited. Come on, man. It's good. The church is what? It's entering what? Brightest hour. Amen. So, hallelujah. This is the time that the world will be envious. 
of the church. And see, when God is talking about weight transfer, it is because you will have answer. That's it. When they are confused and they will be ready to pay anything for your wisdom. They will be ready to put you in office for your wisdom. They will follow you because you have the direction. Oh, come say, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Come to somebody say, I'm listening. I'm listening. Yes. To rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it turned to somebody say, divine direction. Divine direction. It's very good. It's, it's very actually good. excellent. It's actually excellent. Come on, say, hallelujah. hallelujah. So there's anything you need to seek in your life, you need to seek direction. Come on, let's go to the next verse. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fourth day. Oh, I thought you were going to scream there. Yeah, the fourth day. Four day. Yeah. There we go, four. Number four is the number of creation. So when God, come on, come on, I'm talking to somebody. You see how God confirm his word? Yes. So all this divine direction, everything that God needs, you see that yes. happen on the fourth day. And God said the fourth month yes. is the month of divine direction. Yes. Amen. So number four is the month, or is the word, is the number Good of God. direction. Come on now. How do you know, Pastor, five, ten minutes ago? I Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. I said ten minutes ago. Ten minutes ago. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. You know, my son walked into the office, uh, Prophet Simon walked into the room. He said, Daddy, you know, I feel like something is not in place. You know, do you ever feel this thing that, you know, you feel like something is not right? I said, yeah. I said, go back to your seat and start praying tongue. Mm -hmm. So that God can put things right. And as soon as he stepped up, he said, son, what is number four in my word? That's how this message came. Come and say hallelujah. hallelujah. So today, let's read that. Let's go back to verse 18. Hallelujah. And there was evening. 18 or 19. Verse 19, sorry. And there was what? Evening. evening and there was morning before day. So this coming month, the month of April, the fourth month of 2022, is the month of what? Divine direction. Come on. Hallelujah. It's not just direction for the for April. It's not just the direction for the year of 2020. It's the direction for the rest of your life. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. God will show you things that will set your future ablaze. Amen. Amen. Oh my God. Oh yeah. God will give you divine direction this coming month that will set your whole life in place without any question. You will know where to go, how to go, when to go, everything you needed. So the rest of your life will be to carry out. Come on, come on. Shout hallelujah. Did your days of I don't, Pastor, I don't know what to do. It's over. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Your days of saying, Pastor, I don't know when to do it. It's over. Amen. Amen. Your days of saying, what should I do? It's over. Amen. It's, you will spend the next 120 years impossible, and you will still be walking on what God is going to drop into your spirit. Amen. This coming month. Amen. 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 You don't be walking it out. Come on, as you turn one corner, another light will shine. Amen. Come on, come on. Let's see, all of you have to receive it. I pray that all of you receive it. That those of you that are receiving, we have testimony. Amen. Amen. Come on, say hallelujah. Then I will, you, will, you will not, you will leave still not fulfilling everything. It's not that God, you know, I finish, what am I going to do next? No, no, I mean, you begin, you, you finish one project, one direction before you finish and that instruction will come and you begin to live the best day of your life yeah. just fulfilling destiny yeah. oh come and say amen yeah. there's nothing see human being we are created to to know what to do Hallelujah. hallelujah come and say hallelujah, hallelujah. confusion came in the garden when man said darkness. 
Darkness came. Confusion came. Say hallelujah. 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 The Bible says, as many as are led by what? By the Spirit of God. That are led by the Spirit of God. As many as what? Are led by what? By the Spirit of God. Are the sons of God. Jesus said, I will not leave you as an orphan. I will not leave you comfortless. I will not leave you confused. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Can you imagine, let's go back to this scripture, verse 14. Can you imagine if Adam and Eve were in the garden and they can't see? Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Even though they lost their sight spiritually because of sin, that's why when God came to the garden, he said, where are you? Yeah. Where are you? What were you doing when this devil came to deceive this woman? Hmm. Where were you? God was not uh, uh, asking for his location. He was asking for his position. Mm. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. So God said, let there be what? Light. Say light. light. Come, on, say light. light. Come on, say light. light. Come on, say light. light. And you know, make, uh, dictionary man, check the word light and darkness. Let just see. It will be very relevant, it's relevant to what we are talking about. Say amen. amen. God said what? Let there be what? Light in the expanse of the heaven to separate the day from the night. Come and say hallelujah. hallelujah. So, you know, God is missing their time. There will be darkness. Yes. And there will be time. There will be light. Yes. Come and say hallelujah. 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 And see, darkness could represent a lot of things. Some people are, who are in their dark hours. Come and say. And your dark hour could be, in, in, could be as bright physically as a new, uh, uh, new day sun. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. And you can, it, it could be bright and you can still be in darkness. Yeah. I'm not, you know, you can be lonely in the midst of a thousand people. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Loneliness is not the absence of people. That's right. And darkness is not the absence of light per se. Of physical light. Thank you. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Because right now, if your government think they know what they're doing, they are wrong. And if you think that they know what they are doing, you're wrong. You're wrong. Come and say hallelujah. hallelujah. You know, you know, we, I'm preparing to uh, to travel, uh, uh, you know, uh, my annual, uh, you know, travel to Europe, and you know, we try to check each country we are going to see the their mandate concerning COVID. Say man, and so most of the nations we are going, they said if you can prove that you had COVID, you are free to come in. Are you reading that? If you can prove that you had it and you survived it, you can come in. Because they know your, you have immune, your immune system. Immunity. Yes. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. sure. Say hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Or you can prove that you took vaccine. <laughs> Say hallelujah. Wow. So to now, there is a common knowledge that once you had COVID and you, you, you survive it, you are more immune mm -hmm. yeah. to the so the sickness, even you know, as good or better than the one who has told us. So if you say you can prove that you had it to survive it, no problem. Come and say hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Light. Light. Something that makes vision possible. Something that what? Make what? Vision. Direction. Tell me somebody say that's direction. You yes, are to see beyond the bridges of your nose. Go ahead. Something, something that enlightens or informs. Something that enlightens or what? Is in that direction? Come on, go ahead. Mm -hmm. And darkness, going off of that, is a lack of knowledge or enlightenment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see that God is confirming his word. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. And what day of the week did God do that? On the fourth day. Mm -hmm. Say the fourth day. Fourth day. Say hallelujah. So the God said, lights. I'm going to give you vision. I'm going to give you direction. I'm going to show you what to do, where to go, how to go about your life that will lead to prosperity and success. For I only yes. knows what? Yes. The plan that I have for you, say the Lord. Plan of good, not an evil. To give you a hope 
or an expected end or a future, a great future that you hope for. Come on, say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. The reason for failure is lack of wisdom. Yes, true. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. God did not say you will not have challenging situations. But He said, I'm going to direct you. I will show you what to do in those days of challenges. Come and say hallelujah. hallelujah. The Bible said, if the devil knew, he would not have crucified the Lord yeah, of glory. That's the word. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. So God blocked that wisdom from He taught his he, he, he kept the Savior. Big mistake. There are people, there are things that are coming against you right now that the devil will wish in the next few months, please hold that book and stop dropping it. Yes. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. In the next few months, the devil will wish that the challenges he's taking you through right now, that he will wish he didn't take you through it. Because you went out weak, you're coming out strong. Amen. You went in poor, you're coming out wealthy. Yeah. You went in sick, you coming out being a healer through the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I hope I'm talking, I'm speaking to you prophetically. Yes, sir. Yeah. If we wish that you are left here alone the way you are. Hallelujah. Now you came out stronger. Amen. Fortified. Yes. Build up. Working with wisdom and knowledge and ability to know what to do and when to do it and how to do it. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. I'm excited for this season. Especially when God speaks. Oh, it's awesome thing. You know what? You never enjoy what relationship it is on July. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, oh when just, can just, even when you are reading the word and it just bring light. Come and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Remember I said the purpose of prayer is to get direction, to get wisdom. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Any prayer that does not result in divine wisdom, it's not an answer prayer. Because you went to pray because you have a need. You went to pray because you need answer. And if you come out of your prayer without answer, without direction, God has not heard your prayer. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Prayer is not starting in the name of Jesus and ending in the name of Jesus. Prayer is the ability to get the mind of God concerning the situation that you are in before you went into prayer. You should come out excited, laughing. Come on, say hallelujah. Fire up. Now I know what to do now. I know what step to make now. I know where to turn to right now. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, personally, I don't know about you. I'm not going to take the month of April lightly from the beginning to the end. Come and say hallelujah. hallelujah. I need direction for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. I said for the rest of my life. For the rest of my children's life. Yes. And my grandchildren's yes. life. And this ministry. Yes. From point A to, to Z. Everything in between. Come and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come, am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. Is that your expectation? Yes. yes. You're on your own. Huh. I will do my best to help you. But I can't make the decision for you. That's right. It's going to be based on your hunger. That's right. Come on. I said it's going to be what? Better be hungry. Based on your what? On your hunger. Amen. So God said, let that be what? Light. Light. Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let that be what? Direction. Yeah. I'm going to open your eyes to see, your ears to hear. Amen. Say hallelujah. 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 Let's go to Psalm 32, verse 8. Amen. I'm going to say hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm going to tell you somebody. Oh, yeah. Glory hallelujah. be to God. Glory, Glory be to God. God. Psalm 32, verse 8. Any translation? I will what? Instruct. Say instruct. Instruct. Come on, say instruct. Instruct. I will what? I will what? Instruct. And teach you in the way you should go. Yes. Isn't that the direction? Yes, yes sir. I will cancel you with my eye upon you. Let's read that and from that translation, whatever you have. Say glory be to God. Hallelujah. The Lord says, I will instruct you. I will teach you the way that you should go. I will advise you as my eyes watching over you. Let's find another translation. Say hallelujah. 
the good news translation says, the Lord says, I will teach you the way you should go. I will instruct you and advise you. Let's read from, um, uh, which one is that? Mm -hmm. I, the Lord, will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is committed. Yeah. See, my father, my father is committed to yeah. instruct me, yeah. teach me, yeah. guide me, yeah. show me the way to... You see, it does not take pleasure in you making a mistake. Mistake is costly. Yes, it is. I don't think you understand what I just said. I said mistake is what? Yeah. It's costly. I hear the Lord say, it, I will stay close to you. Instructing and guiding you along the pathway for your life. I will advise you along the way and lead you forth with my eyes as your guide. So don't make it difficult. Don't be stubborn. When I take you where you have not been before. Don't make me talk you and pull you along, just come with me. Uh huh. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Let's read together. One, two, three. I hear the Lord say, I will stay close to you. Those of you that need extra eyes, come on. I just I thank God for, for, uh, for perfect vision. Amen. I'm telling you, I see things sometimes I thought it's spiritual. I'm, 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 I'm really serious. I'm serious. Because I see the car will be with, in the front of me for almost half a block, and I can see everything at the back of it. Then I will try to move close to see. Is that real? Did I really see that type number? What is this? Mm. Yes. Am I saying the the spirit? Perfect sight, amen. And I release, I release that to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You know, I, I'm coming to read this stuff. You know, yesterday something happened. And I'm going to pray for, actually, I'm going to just pray for all of you for favor. Amen. Listen, favor will do for you what money cannot That's do. That's right. Amen. 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 Come on, say one more time. And it's very important. I'm going to I'm going to say this. I'm going to pray for you. And I'm going to continue my teaching. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, for you know, you, my daughter, you know, help us to buy the house we are in. And the worst part of that house is bathroom. A bathroom. Mm -hmm. The bathroom was kind of painted. The sink. I just every time I enter that bathroom, yeah. I feel depressed. No, it's not. I'm not, you know, really, you know, the sink, the sink was, you know, the sink, God was clogged and everything. I just, and I tried to get a lot of people to do the bathroom. They gave me some ridiculous price, you know. God taught me one thing, patient. When God wants to do something in your life, yeah. he's going to send the right person. Right Finally, God sent the right person. That's not even the story. So, amen. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So, you know, my son, the, uh, uh, Joshua, uh, my white son, a whole bunch of them, black, red, and yellow. Yeah. So my son, we went, you know, he took me to a place we went to do for the time. You know, I've never been so, con I, I was confused before I went in. I, w I was more confused. And I went, went to the warehouse. They kept walking up and down, in circle. You know, you know, after about two hours, I said something strong. I said, oh, that's a uh, pastor. The last time I, the first time I came in, I was here like three, four hours, I said, okay. I'm not confused. <laughs> no, 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 too much. So we kept going up it's and down, much. and we take this and we match this. He was say, oh, he said, I wish uh, Mr. Jennifer was here. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we finally made decisions. Amen. Amen. So you know, we we're about to, we're supposed to order there. Somebody just told him that we should order online. So he went on, and God directed him to another store, mm. instead of that store. So which was a little cheaper. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we order online, and uh, so I went to the store to meet the contractor to come and pick up the stuff. Mm -hmm. The guy did not show up. Okay. But while I was in the store, I was I started walking around. You know, I like homes. Any anytime they send me plumbing stuff. Yeah. You know, I, I just like all those stuff. So I started walking from one eye to the other, up and down for almost an hour. You know, and things like that. So I went to where the tie was, and I saw a sign that says, if you buy tie that is close to $1,000, and the material to do the tie, you give 15% off. So I said, wow. So I called him. I said, do you see that online? He said, no, it's not online. Uh, you know, so 
Uh, just go to the customer service and tell them you know what you saw in the store. So I went to the customer service. They said, oh, we are sorry. Uh, the the ticket <coughs> must be on one because we already bought the tie online. We bought the material in the store. They said no, everything has to be on one ticket. It's no problem. Come to the other one. Who is going to eat it? Who is going to eat it? Amen. Come to the one we bought online. <laughs> So it comes to the one we bought online, so they gave me already the SQU, everything's already in there. So I took the, the printout of the one we bought online, went to the cashier, the new material, you know, say, man, uh, so we put everything on, on one ticket. So they said, oh, we save uh, 40 or something like that. So I didn't even know that. So then I, I got the ticket, we saved 800 or something. Eight on there from the thing we bought online. Yeah. Wow. That we paid for. They gave me eight hundred and something dollars back. Mm. Say favor. Yeah. Yeah. So I was shocked. I was I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, that means say hallelujah. Wow. Wisdom. Direction. And favor. Favor. Say I'm a black Jew, I don't pay full price. <laughs> Come on, say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. And I release the favor of God upon you in the name of Jesus. That your every dollar, every penny will go far further than anyone's S money goes. In the name of Jesus. Everything they sell for a dollar, you buy for 10, for, uh, 10 cents. Amen. A penny on a dollar in Jesus' name. Amen. But I thank you for it. So glory be to God. Glory glory to God. God. That's the favor of God. And I'm, I can't I can't even I can't even stand telling you about the favor, yeah. how things it's just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And that it should be natural for kingdom citizens. Come and say yeah. hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. hallelujah. So thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Say glory be to God. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I can do with eight hundred and something dollars? Yeah. Yes. Wow. I love her. Let's read together. I hear the Lord say, I will stay close to you. Stay close, stay close to you. You know, this, what I was going to preach on was so similar to this, actually. Jesus said, The time is coming. Come and say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me actually open that deck. Uh, stay with me now. I love my job. Amen. Amen. <coughs> It was supposed to be my foundational uh, uh, scripture today. <coughs> Say amen. 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 Mm. Which, uh, John 16, 32. He said, indeed the hour is coming. Yes, has now come. That you will be what? Scattered each to his own and will leave me alone. And yet, I am not alone. Why? Because the Father is with me. Is with me. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, come on, come on, come on. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. The evidence hallelujah. of the Father being with you is to give you instruction. Amen. The know how. Come on, Joseph. The know how. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Say the know how. The know how. It's the evidence that God is with you. Amen. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Let's read that again. Let's go back to, to um, um, where were we reading before? Psalm 32. Let's read together. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's read together. One, two, three. I hear the Lord saying, I will stay close to you. God, watch now. Watch now. Watch now. What is important in here? I hear. If God speaks and be here, it doesn't matter what he said. That's right. That's true. That's true. That's true. Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. God can tell you about your spouse, about the house you go to buy. Amen. About the new business you're going to get into. Amen. But if you don't hear it, yeah. oh, that's right. <laughs> all what he 
they said is useless. Yes, yep. sir. That's how Paul said, when you pray in tongue, pray that you may interpret. Yeah. Because you can only act on what you know. Oh, how many instructions we've heard, and we got said that we didn't hear. You know, you can be in the service and the word of God can be going on, you may not hear it. Right. Your mind is on, the, on, on your, all your challenges and all the paradigm and all the stuff you go to eat when you get home. Oh. Yeah. And the word is going on and you're not hearing. It takes undivided attention to hear stuff. Yes, sir. Come and say hallelujah. hallelujah. And have a PhD degree in, not in ignoring oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Hey. Everybody knows that. <laughs> you can I can see your mouth move like this. If I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear. I turn you off. Yeah. See, you need to know when to turn stop, stop off and when to turn things on. That's the key. No, that's the key. key. No, that's right. When God is talking, you better turn it on. Mm -hmm. Our spiritual father, Kenneth Copeland, said, Take your catcher out. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to catch every word that I say. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take your catcher out. Come and say, I have my catcher. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to catch every word. Mm -hmm. And none of those will be fall to the ground. Mm -hmm. So I hear the Lord say, What are you hearing? It's what you hear that is important. God is always speaking. Yes, sir. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. You, know, you know, it's hard to say, I've not, God has not spoken all this time. You always say, I've not heard God all this time. Mm -hmm. Come on. Did you ever hear anybody say, God, did you speak all this time? No. no. They always say, I didn't hear God. Mm -hmm. Like somebody, you know, we went to church and said, I've never heard God in four years. And he said, I'm so jealous of you. He said, Pastor of the church, more than four, five thousand member church. Yeah. How can you pastor a four thousand member church and in four years with none of God? That was scary. Yeah. And if one of the leaders that went with me grabbed me and kissed me, I was like, ah, amen. Like, thank God I'm in a place where people can hear God. Yeah. He didn't say, God, I've not spoken. He said, I've not heard God. I hear, and he said, My sheep. Oh. Come on now. Uh, 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 he said, The yeah. voice of order they will not no, follow. No, yes. My sheep to is follow direction requires hearing. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Come on, see, I, there are times I, I, you know, I'm driving and using GPS, and there's too much noise in the car. And I'm telling people, Shh, I need to hear what the GPS is saying. Or else we're going to make wrong direct turn. Wrong I know you have been there. You are yabba, 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 yabba. And you can't hear what the GPS is saying. So, oh, shh. What is important right now is not your voice. Yes, sir. Is this tiny little box here? Yeah, Come and say hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> I don't want to hear your you know whining. There is. There is whine sometimes. I love you guys. Oh man. We don't. That is so right? My bro? Yes. Men cry. <laughs> <laughs> you want men cry. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, she, she just, she just, she just oh. defeated my words. Yeah. Yeah. This is right. next statement. Then we want men cry. Next statement. You don't make no statement. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. And you are driving. You try to pay attention to the road. You try to make sure you don't make a wrong turn. Mm -hmm. And they are whining. Besides all this, some kids are crying. Your wife is whining. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all this stuff. So, and you guys just, shh. You know, just hold it. Put it, tap it that down, or you just for now. You know, we we'll talk later. Come and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come and say hallelujah. Because right now, what is important is that we made the right turn. Oh, come on. You will never make the wrong turn again in your life. Amen. Amen. Your children, children, we always be at the right place at the right time doing the right thing. Our uh, generation is not back on the Easter. Oh, we went to Baradi. The Zimbabwe go to Baradi. I hear the speaker of God says, very soon there is a decision you need to make that is critical. I don't know what it is, but I hear the speaker of God says, stay close to me. Stay close to me. I'm going to give me a scripture to give to you. Come on, Sandy, I'm going to take your pen and write it down. Actually, let's read, we're going to read it too. Let's finish this, then we read the scripture 
and I want to hold on to that scripture. This part of your divine direction for Tony mm. and Marco Desi. Mm. Ah, ka, ka. Come on, let's hear it. Read together. Let's, let's hear it together. Sure, let's hear it together. Amen. 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 Let's hear it together. Amen. 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 I hear the Lord saying. The reason I hear the Lord, Lord said, you must continually hear it. Yeah. Because of your future on, is built on. On. on your faith, and your faith is built on you continually, continuously Ooh. hearing. Amen. Not I heard. Faith is now. Yes. Come on. I hear the Lord saying. I hear the Lord's what? Saying. I will. When if God says I'm going to stay close to you, yes. you, can, you can take it to the back. Yes. I love my life. Come on. 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 Hallelujah. You should be jealous. Hallelujah. The world should be jealous of the church. Mm -hmm. Listen, your earthly father might not be close to you. Yeah. Okay. But when daddy, the, the ruler of the old universe, the creator of the universe said, I will stay close to you. Yes. 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 Man. <laughs> Go to the book of Isaiah. We're going to read it. I'm just, I have so much scripture in my spirit. Come on. Just so coming back to Psalm 32, verse 8. Go to the book of Isaiah 8 10. Isaiah 8 10. Come on, say Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 8 10. Let's read together. Okay. Let's read. Call your counsels of war, develop your strategies, prepare your plans of attack. And, and then, then die, die for God is with us. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So let's read that together. Then we read other translation. Call your councils of war. Develop your strategies. Prepare your plans of attack. And then die for God is with us. Come on, another translation. Make your plans, but they will never succeed. Talk all you want to, but it is all useless because God is with us. You know why? Because He will tell you they're coming from the south. You go north. <laughs> come on, come on, bring it on. Instruction. Inside information. We are just sir. inside instruction. Do you know there are politicians that I that went to jail for inside information? But see, our inside information will not lead us to jail. It will lead us to success. Come and say hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Go to Psalm 127. Um, um, Brehesh Kadagande Kozobo, um, Mikistadenze, Zobo Lijinde Krasto Ligi Tabrani. You know, generally, I want to hold on to this scripture. This scripture is for you. But everybody take it. Let's go to one, uh, Psalm 127, verse 1. And then we go to Psalm 118. Start from verse 6. You, unless the law builds the house. Come on, come on. Those, come on, let's do it together. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's only, things only work when God is in it. Psalm 1:18:6. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Tell me someone say the Lord is on my side. The Lord is on my side. See, I don't know about you. I don't know about you. I'm not alone. I am not alone. The Lord is on my side. What can man do? Come on, 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 come on. I'm so excited. Yes, sir. What can man do to me? Yeah. Stand up. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen, listen, go. Every situation. Listen, come here, come here. I should hate it. I wish. I just love it. I'm, I'm so excited. Listen to me carefully. Listen. 
a situation is coming. There are divine wisdom from God is going to be the answer to the situation. And it's on your job. And it's going to set you on iron. So when you or your colleagues are faced with a difficult situation, pray in tongues. Amen. 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 And it's going to set you apart. Listen, you will come to this ministry and give testimony of what I'm saying. Come see it. The Lord is on my side, I will not fear. What can man do to me? Mm -hmm. The Lord is come on, come on, come on. The Lord is on my side as my helper. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. Come on. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust a man. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in priests. All nations surrounded me. In the name of the Lord, I call them off. They surrounded me, surrounded me on every side. In the name of the Lord, I call them off. Keep on reading. They surrounded me like bees. They went out like a fire among the turns. In the name of the Lord, I call them off. Come on, come on. I was pushed out so that I was falling. But the Lord helped me. Come on. So God can only help you when He's with you. God can only help you when He gives you inside information. Divine direction. The Bible said many are the afflictions. See, challenges is not lack of evidence that God is not with you. It's how you come out of it. That's right. That's it. That's it. People need to understand it. That's it. Do you know? Listen, I'm, I'm telling you honestly. We were, um, Faith was with me and Simon. I was on the line for almost two hours in the store. Because the guy, the, the guy, the manager said, I don't have, I don't see any reason no. to give you this kind of this stuff. What, what is the, what is the reason for you getting 15% off? I don't get it. So he has to call the department. Then he called the, maybe the head office. I don't know what they were calling. For almost two hours, after I saved 40 and something like that, I said, that's a good salary for four hours. Until I got the thing back, it was $800. I said, that's a really good salary <laughs> for three hours. Yeah. Yeah. I was patient. Mm. Yes, sir. Patience. I'm not lying to you. It was long. They went, they sat in the car for almost an hour, mm. they went to the store and came back. I said, I'll be out in 10 minutes. That 10 minutes was almost 45 minutes. Yes, sir. Amen. But I came out victorious. Yeah. Come on, say hallelujah. 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 So, the fact that you are in challenge, or you're going through challenges, does not mean that God is not there. Yes. Yeah. Joseph yes. was in prison, but God was with him. Go! Yes. He was a slave, but God was. The evidence. Yes. The evidence is that he left the prison and he became the second in command of the greatest nation at the time. That's the evidence that God was with him. How can God be with me and he stripped me of my clothes and I'm naked and I'm here in a foreign country with foreign tongue and I'm a slave and then I'm in prison, even the slave in prison, serving other prisoners. It doesn't show, it doesn't look like God but is with you. But in due time, but in due time, my God. Come on, come on. So it's the outcome of your prison experience, of your slavery experience. Of, come on. I, I'm not talking to somebody. Season. Amen. God put you back in the room. It's not, that does not, that's not the evidence that God is not with you. How you come out. Come on, say hallelujah. hallelujah. See, <laughs> oh, every time I read the story of Noah, the Bible says, and God put him and shut the door. <laughs> if he wants to come out, he can't come out. Because yes. he didn't close the door, he can't open it. That's right. Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. Then when it, was, when it was due time, God he opened the door. Amen. Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tom, so see, I can see my way out now. I can see my way out now. 
so I can see my way to the pros to my prosperous life now. Say, say I can see how God is going to do what He said He was going to do. I can see how going to do come with wisdom and His divine direction, and I can't do it unless He did it. Because my trust is in Him. Come and say hallelujah. Unless the Lord keep you city. Those that are watching, they're watching in vain. Unless the Lord build that house, the builders, those that labor, they are labor in vain. God is with me. Whom shall I fear? Come and say hallelujah. Psalm 32, verse 8. From TPT translation. I'm so excited. Hallelujah. <laughs> Say amen. 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 Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Let's read together. I amen. hear the Lord say, I want that to sink into your spirit. I want to put your hand on your physical ear and your heart, one ear, one on your ear, one in your heart, as a contact for divine direction. Say, Father, Father. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Not in the past, Not in the past. But, from but from now. My ear begin to hear. My heart begin to understand the word, the word of God, divine direction, divine instruction. My days of making mistake, of guessing, of try and error are over. From this moment forward, I will hear, I will keep on hearing God's instruction. And as I hear, I will obey, I will follow. In the name of Jesus, no more my will, but the will of my Father be done. In my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's read together. I hear the Lord saying, I will stay close to you. Ha <laughs> ha. Say the Lord is close to me. Say I can hear. My father saying he's close to me. He's instructing me and guiding me along the pathway for my life. I want to turn this into a prayer. The Lord is advising me along the way. Come on, sit there. The Lord is advising me. I'm leading you forth with his eyes as my guide. So I don't make any difficult. I will not make it difficult for him. I will not be stubborn. I will not do it my way. I will not based on my intellect, my experience, my will, my knowledge, my ability, my education, other people's opinion, the government opinion, or what I see around me. I will not lean on that. I will not make it difficult for the Father. I will not be stubborn. I will, he will take me by his hand and lead me in the name of Jesus. I will not make it difficult for him. Come and say hallelujah. Come and say hallelujah. So, this coming month, starting on next Friday, I don't you don't need to wait until you get you know, get yourself together now and begin to Intentionally, say intentionally. Intentional. When you are in prayer or you are driving, whatever, intentionally have the writing material. The pride, God, I'm ready to hear your word. I'm not talking of what you're going to do today. I mean, what you're going to do for the rest of your life. Yeah. How awesome. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to tell you, oh, next year you're going to do this. The year, as you are fulfilling one direction, Amen. before you finish one, you will not have to wait. Amen. See, the com frustration comes when we don't know what to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come and say, Hallelujah. hallelujah. But see, when the project is ongoing, <laughs> say, Hallelujah. hallelujah. One foundation is laid, and God said, this, Okay, I'm going to do this now. It's, it's, it's as an adventure, it's fun. Come and say, Hallelujah. 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 You're finishing one before you finish. God said, You know, that is what life is really about. See, Jesus' life was not based on people's opinion. He preached and the whole nation, the whole cities were looking for Jesus. And his disciples said, all men seek after him. He had divine direction. He said, let's go to the other town. Or to the other city. For this reason I came. Come on. How many of you will leave the crowd? You build a church and it's now grown. Four thousand people are coming to the church. Now, now, leave that church. I want to leave that and go start something else. 
Jesus said, all, the priest said, all men are seeking after you. What a glorious thing. Come on. Leave them alone. I'll finish with them. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, it's awesome. Next. It's awesome. People that do that don't stink. <laughs> yeah. Because it, it, order comes when somebody is stagnant. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why. Huh? Yes, sir. It, it becomes an adventure. It becomes fun. A new thing. A new adventure. Come on, sir. Come on. I don't care how good the food is. You keep on eating that food every day. You get tired of it. Yes, sir. But come on, you know, you eat it. By the time you go to run around the, uh, the the menu and that food showed up, you already have a taste for the one you had two weeks ago. Come on, say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think my yeah, grandson is there. He said, yeah, today is part of the arm. Tomorrow is the same thing. You remember when you were complaining that he was not eating? Yeah. yeah. Remember that time? Yes, I told you, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, now he's eating the whole house, right? Oh <laughs> yeah, he was worried. She was worried yeah. at that time. Oh, he's not eating. But I said, don't worry. Like I don't. Yeah, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Now he eats. Say hallelujah. Now he's eating too much. Yes, yes. Keep on eating, baby. Don't worry. Say hallelujah. Yes, sir. Now he's eating too much. Yes, yes. Keep on eating, baby. Don't worry. Say hallelujah. This is developing. Developing. Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. Yeah. Come and say hallelujah. hallelujah. So at uh, next Friday night bridge is gonna be it's gonna be time bomb. It's, it's gonna be explosive. This Friday, Friday. sorry. Amen. This Friday it's gonna be explosive. Hallelujah. I'm serious, it's gonna be explosive. And one of the things that's gonna be you know, I know we, we speak prophetically, we're gonna worship prophetically, we will teach prophetically. Amen. Come and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prophetic ultrans, it's gonna be going forth. As yes. the direction. Amen. Yes. For yes. Listen. Yes. Don't yes. allow anyone yes. to fall to the ground. Yes. Amen. Yes. Oh, I'm going to just stretch your hands out. Everybody will so dija. The brasoto manda casiga. Rondo lo juto lo mukush la jadasi. I command. I command every bell. Ah, Kalisi. Hey, hey, hey. All of you stand up on your feet. Stand up on your feet. Sister, I want to hear this very well. I want to listen. La bosu shaka I hear this is what God says, Sister Nasser, that He will begin to show you things from distance. Amen. Amen. I want to open your eyes. I want you to look at me. God, what let me tell you what I saw in the realm of the spirit. I mean, you know what all this, you know, uh, you know Sammy and I will watch all this uh, national uh, geography, whatever. And there's a technology that they use. They can fly an airplane or uh, what's that? Drone. You mean LIDAR? Drone. Mm -hmm. And it can peel the layer of ground. Have you seen that thing? It's LIDAR. Repeat, huh? LIDAR. Yeah. Line what? LIDAR. LIDAR, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. It can peel the layer of ground. You can see what is under the ground. Mm -hmm. And that's what I said to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You will look at something that you go there, peel it off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It may sound good, look good, mm -hmm. but God will peel the, the natural, the makeup off. Amen. It will peel the awesomeness off. Amen. It will peel the beauty off. Amen. And you will see. You will, you will smell it from this. Amen. 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 Receive it. And we say, wow, it's mm, it stinks. Mm. Wow, it's rotten. Mm. It just paints on the surface. Amen. I want all of you to receive that. But I have a decision that like that also. The crystal. People are making decisions based on what they see in the natural. But you are making decisions based on what is behind Amen. this stuff. Amen. Amen. We look beyond the makeup and beyond the, the, all the stuff and everything like that, and the clothes and everything like that, and God will show you stuff and say, ah, that doesn't look good. Amen. That doesn't feel good. And if you want to, what's wrong with you? Amen. <laughs> Amen. 